What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And finally, after a long wait, One UI 7 is now available for the Galaxy A30. And yes, it's actually working. This custom ROM is ported directly from the Galaxy S23 FE and brings a completely fresh experience to this older device. Massive thanks to the Winners Cloud team for making this port possible. This ROM also supports other devices like the Galaxy A40, A30s, A20, A20e, and the A10. You can check out the full change log, and for A10 users specifically, make sure to use the repartitioner during installation. I'll provide the link in the description below. So, in this video, I'll walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process to install One UI 7 on your Galaxy A30. So, let's get started. So after downloading the ROM, make sure to copy it to an SD card or USB drive. I've already copied the ROM file to the USB. Also, make sure the device bootloader is unlocked and TWRP recovery is installed. As usual, power off the device. Now press and hold the volume up and power buttons to boot into TWRP recovery. All right, first of all, select wipe, then advanced wipe. Select these partitions, Dalvik cache, data, product, system, vendor. And if you want, you can also wipe internal storage. Make sure to back up any important data for a clean install. Now swipe to wipe. Now I'll connect the USB drive. Go to install. Select the storage where you copied the ROM file. And here is our S23 FE ROM universal port. Select it and swipe to confirm flash. All right, the installation will start. You can see the S23 FE log, one UI7 port with the latest security patch. You'll also see that the device gets recognized as A30. All right, the installation is completed. Now get back and reboot the system. Here, I'll fast forward this part. All right, it finally booted up. Complete the setup process, it's very short. On the first boot, it takes a lot of time to load and may lag a lot, so restart the device once again. And finally, there we go. We got one UI 7 running on Galaxy A30 before GTA 6. We're on the home screen, and it feels way smoother than the previous one UI 6. You can see the quick panel style is completely changed with a new battery icon at the top right, and it feels very responsive. Anyway, let's go to settings about phone and you'll see the device model name as S23 FE. It's currently running on Android 15 based on One UI 7, and everything feels smooth this time. In connected devices, Samsung DeX is not available this time. It used to work in One UI 6, but not anymore. As for Galaxy AI features, some still work. I'll talk more about that later in this video. Going into sound and vibration, yes, sound works normally. All the other basic features work just like before. In display, refresh rate is set to adaptive 120 hertz, but it's still on the default 60 hertz. Now in battery, everything is the same, like battery protection, usage limits, and other options. In wallpapers, lock screen, you'll find two new clock styles which you can customize as you like. Now let's head to one of the important parts, device care. Out of 4 GB of RAM, almost only 1 GB is free, but it's still okay for general use. I really want to know from Galaxy A10 users, like, how much memory is free for you? Because that device only has 2 GB RAM, which is insane in today's world. All right, now let's check the camera. You can see the new camera UI layout. If you go to more, there are a few extra features, almost the same as the previous version. Now let's try the Galaxy AI features, starting with photos, generative AI. I tried to remove this hand here. Well, it's not working. There are still some bugs. But let's try sketch to image. And yes, it's working fine, and it actually generated really well.
Another AI feature works in Samsung browser. You can summarize content on web pages or translate text into other languages, and it works well without issues. Also in Samsung Notes with Galaxy AI, it works the same. You can auto format text, summarize, spell check, and more. For example, you can select text and tap generate text layouts, and that's it. It'll give you a clean format with headers and bullet points. You can copy and use it anywhere. Spell check and grammar also work fine, just like on the latest Galaxy phones. Even voice recording with AI features works. It can transcribe and give a concise summary. One more working AI feature is Drawing Assist. You can create generative images by sketch, by image, or by describing in text. So here I draw something. It's generated. Worked perfectly. Let's describe it by text. And as you can see, it generated really well. You can even save it as a sticker or image. There's also an AI select feature, but it's not working yet. Some bugs are still present. Well, the circle to search will work as well. Some features require more processing power. So don't expect everything to run flawlessly on this hardware. And finally, performance. Let's be real. This is a nearly seven year old phone with the Exynos 7904 processor. You can check the available memory here. Not much, but still holds up. I even ran a volumetric shader test, which is GPU heavy. And yeah, the GPU usage maxed out quickly. So anyways, that's all for this video, guys. One UI 7 is finally running on the Galaxy A30, and it's honestly impressive to see how far this old device has come. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.